you smell your arm. Hey guys, I'm here back with another video, and today I'm joined by my one and only girlfriend. Introduce yourself. My name. My name's Kim. Kim, and today she's gonna be ranking five fragrances that I bought or that I discovered in New York City on my trip when I was over there, over there about a month ago. And these five fragrances are probably my favorite fragrances ever. Some of my favorite fragrances ever. So, so let's see what she thinks of these fragrances and if she thinks these would smell good on a guy. Here you go, first one. It's fresh and clean. Fresh and clean? Hmm, yeah. This is like something I'd see during the summertime. Like summertime? Fish. Does it smell good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'd like to see you wear it. I'd like to see me wear it? That's awesome. And <laughs> this one, guys, is called Filtered Ceylon by Atelier's Cologne. I picked this up at Evans shop in Brooklyn, the Atelier store. So, what do you think of this one? What is your final rating? 7.75 out of 10. It's, it's, like very all, it's almost an 8, but it's not a 7.5, <laughs> so it's like in between. That next, makes sense, right? She's gonna give next one an 8.28 or... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so 7.75 <laughs> for filtered Ceylon. Solid. Here you go, number two. Hmm, here's vanilla. I can smell vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's like a spicy vanilla cookie. Spicy vanilla cookie? Yeah. Mm. I'm hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this. Mm -hmm. This is definitely more of a winter one. Like mm -hmm. if this was in the summer, it would just make it way too... Too cloying, too much. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, would that smell good on a guy? Do yeah. You like it? Okay. Mm. Cool. And this one is called Tabac Rouge by Faye Dawn. And this one gets compared a lot to Tobacco Vanille. Personally, I think it's way better than Tobacco Vanille because it's not too thick. Like Tobacco Vanille has this very thick tobacco. This one is very loosened up and it has really, really amazing sweet honey note. One of my favorites. So, what is your final rating? Six. Six? I just said it was like my absolute favorite. I just killed it. Six. <laughs> You have much better smelling ones in your collection. Okay, fine. All right, six for Tabac Rouge. Number three. Here you go. Do you like it? I do like it, but it's like... It's like 4.25, yeah, yeah, yeah. 7, 8, 9 times pi. <laughs> it smells designery. Like a higher class designer? Mm -hmm. Like it's not the typical typical cliche smelling one. Mm -hmm. You definitely got that right because it is from a designer house, but it's Yay. from their higher end line. So I Yay. guess that's I appropriate <laughs> smelling. What kind of guy do you see wearing that? Hmm, just graduated. Just graduated. Kind of, like high school or college? Both. Both. I could see both pulling them off. Okay, so anywhere between high school age and like college age kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I would totally agree with that. It smells very youthful. And this one is called Queer Blanc by Givenchy. You guys probably never seen this one. I never seen this one either until I went to New York. So very, very light, very, very nice smell. Probably one of my favorite grab and go fragrance too. Very, very nice. What's your score? Eight. 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 One eight at least. <laughs> a solid number. <laughs> My last one was a solid number. Okay, fine. But it was ah! a six, I wasn't too happy. Still solid. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Eight for Queer Blanc by Givenchy. Alright, number four. It's really strong, so maybe like far away smell would be better. It definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> It is nice though, it is nice. Mm. Mm. What does it remind you of? I don't know. Hmm, and how would you describe it? Like a dark kind of fresh? Dark kind of fresh? Like it's not too, it's not really dark, it's just a little, mm. like, I wouldn't say it's fresh, but mm -hmm. it's kind of fresh. Mm -hmm. Like darky kind of fresh. That's the only way I can really describe it. Okay, well I can see that. And this one 
guys. It's called Moringa by Perfumum Roma. This one is supposed to be reminiscent of a lemon meringue pie. I've never had lemon meringue pie, so. Yeah, a lemon mm. meringue pie and very thick kind of lemon meringue pie. It's very, very nice and it lasts forever, like 12 plus hours easily. And if you're a fan of Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche with a lemon meringue pie kind of opening, but you don't like that it doesn't last too long, check this one out. It smells thicker, it lasts way longer. It smells very, very delicious. Final rating? Seven? Seven. Seven. Seven? Seven. Seven. All right, last one for today. Here you go. <laughs> okay, okay, get up, get up. <laughs> I'm guessing you really like that one. <laughs> How would you describe it? What comes to mind? Cookies. Cookies? Yeah, like cookies on like a yacht or something. Cookie on a yacht. Hmm, that's pretty accurate. Oh, it's well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would be a great time to wear that one? Any occasion? Any occasion? I feel like it would be. Okay. Well, maybe not so much suit and tie, but anything below suit and tie. Mm -hmm. So any occasion is not formal. Yeah. Okay, that works. And this one, guys, is my other favorite Grimaud besides Coco Blanc. This one's called Lignum Vitae by Beaufort. It has this like biscuit note with some sea salt notes. So she got, she was pretty accurate with her description. And 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 what are you doing? Mine. That's my fragrance. It's mine now. Not, I'm nope. your girlfriend, I get to have what you got. Nope. Get it. Mine. <laughs> this is what happened, guys. That's what happens most of the time. I used to own 200 bottles, but... Ah, uh huh. Yeah, she took... Ah, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's your final rating for Lignum Vitae? Nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's really good. That's really good. Nine and a half for Lignum Vitae. I'd actually wear that. You'd actually wear this too? So it's unisex, you feel like? Okay. Unisex, more on the masculine side. More masculine side. It's... <laughs> so we have a very clear winner today, guys, and it is this one. Lignum Vitae by Beaufort. It is a very good one. Mm -hmm. Super, super good one. Definitely check it out if you can. Highly, highly recommend it, especially for you Gourmand lovers out there. Well. Thank you for being on this video. About time. About time. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay, leave down, leave your comments down below if you'd like to see her back for more videos. And thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.